What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so I'm going to make an 18 wheeler, a semi truck, a truck with a thing on the back, I don't know what to call it, the uh, title will have a more accurate um, name, uh, I'm going to try to go slower here, here it is, I don't have a ton to say about it other than here it is, it's better than the old one I made because I did make an original one, and um, yeah, that being said, there's the original one over there, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space name is a 5x27. Now, I do want to say also, this references that your lane should be 3 blocks. The 5x27 is just because item frames and stuff do go over the edge, and that's kind of how my grids work. However, that's, uh, really, it's like a 3x25 uh, is what the actual truck is. Because, obviously, if those blocks are cut off, it doesn't matter a ton. Although, if you have, like, a block and a half up, then it might be a little bit of an issue. The materials we've been needing, I think, to start off are block of coal. Oh, I forgot it was uh, freaking PC. Mechanical. Mechanics? Whatever. Stone buttons. Diorite slabs. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Smooth quartz slabs. Stone slabs, practically every freaking slab in the book, because you also need polished deep slate slabs. Uh, and to finish off, actually, no, I'm going to say the mon. Am I going to say the monster spawner? Yeah, I'm going to say the monster spawner. You need a bunch else. You need glass blocks. You need I iron doors. You need cyan carpet. You need uh, warped stairs, planks, and slabs. You need pillar courts. You need glow item frames with uh, ochre frog lights and redstone blocks. And I think that's it. Alright. Starting from the front left hand corner of your 5 by 27 grid golf golf you made, you want to start by counting back by 2 and right by 1, and you want to place a block of coal. Bring it forward with one upside down polished diorite slab. This is the front left corner here. Uh, just keep that in mind because of directions. We're going to probably, I'm going to go back on one side, and then we're going to go and uh, replicate it or something. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll bring it across. You then want to go back from that same block of coal, block of coal with three polished, with three opposite on diorite slabs, not polished. Block of coal. Two stone slabs. Block of coal. One stone slab. Block of coal. Three smooth quartz slabs. By the way, all these slabs are upside down. Block of coal. Five upside down smooth quartz slabs. Block of coal. One upside down smooth quartz slab, block of coal, and then two upside down smooth quartz slabs. You're going to want to bring the entire thing right with itself by two, except for the block of coal. The block of coal will be brought right with whatever slab makes sense, and then a block of coal. Um, essentially, where, like, you have it where it ends, or, where, like, the slabs transition, behind the, or between the two blocks of coals, it will be the front or more of the two blocks. That just, I think, makes more sense. Hopefully I'm just having a good day or night, I am for the most part. I kind of did this because I didn't want to do anything big, honestly. I was kind of just like, eh, not in the motivational spot to do that right now. So I figured I'd get this done along with some of Alpha 3 because I know that is a point of uh, interest. Also, I forgot about that step, sorry, I don't know why I just did that without saying anything. On the outsides of the block of coal on the right and left, you want to play stone buttons. I'll stop a second because, you know, I just did it all off. I apologize. Got a little ahead of myself. Um, so essentially, where the stone slabs cut off, and I want to talk about this. If you don't want the thing at the back, if you just want the truck part, bring these stone slabs back a row where the smooth quartz is, and then just take the entire back off. And that should be logical enough with sizings, hopefully. Anyway, on top of every single block of coal, you're going to need placeholders for this. You want to place opposite on smooth quartz stairs, and they want to face either right or left. It'll be, oh god, based on logically where you are. Uh, you're going to need a lot of placeholders, and I apologize for that. I just want to get this step out of the way, because this step is annoying. Which, granted, it would have been better if we had a truck in place, but I suppose if you wanted to wait for it, you could. But while I'm doing it, you might as well do it. That's logical, right? Hopefully, I don't know. I just make the tutorials, I don't do the thinking. There you go, that looks so weird. Those are just the weird wheel wells, I figured I'd add some more big ones. Um, 
Also, if you guys want me to do more card tutorials, let me know because I don't know. I think this one turned out very nice. Uh, anyway, at the front middle polished di- or, God dang it, I keep saying polish. Upside down at diorite slab, you want to place a monster spawner. Bring it left and right with smooth court stairs that face away from the monster spawner. And then we'll kind of not deal with that for now because I can't. Um, <clears throat> but basically what you want to do is you want to take the upside down smooth court stairs that are on top of the first blocks of coal. You want to connect them together with smooth quartz and then place another row of smooth quartz behind. You can get rid of said monster spawner and get out glass, and you want to place a row of glass on top of that back row of smooth quartz. One quick thing I want to mention has nothing to do with that. If you're in survival and you do not have the ability to use a monster spawner, you can just put a lat like a, a place a gray concrete or something and put a ladder on the front face, or even use item frames or something. I think either that or like a stair maybe, or a wall or something, I don't know. You, you can fiddle around with different ideas and what you think looks good, but I like the monster spawner because, I don't know, it's very gritty. Anyway, off the right and the left uh, glass blocks, you want to place a smooth quartz. Actually, two smooth, no, sorry, one smooth quartz block on top. I'm not making up my mind very well here. Bring each one forward with a slab and also bring those same blocks up with a stair. That's what I got confused with. You then want to go back with two blocks, up with a slab, and then back with a slab. And you can essentially take those back smooth quartz slabs and connect them down, and it should be in line with that block of coal there. Like so. You'll have a very nice archway here. Kind of, well, it's not an archway, it's a big doorway. You want to just at the top of it, place smooth quartz stairs. This just adds a little bit of depth, a little bit of, you know, interest. You can get rid of your diorite slabs and get out iron doors, and at the front half of each gap, you want to place an iron door. The handle should face back. It really doesn't matter if it doesn't or not. I just have it facing back. And then off the bottom half of the door, you can go back with a smooth quartz block. Top half, you can place glass block. Like so. Now, it looks like somebody took a giant saw blade and took it through the middle of this. So let's uh, start fixing that. First, though, uh, the front row of stone slabs here, this upside down stone slab row, just place a row of polished deep side slabs on top of. That'll make it so we can actually get rid of our stone slabs, our polished deep side slabs, and our glass, so we can get out. Warped planks, warped stairs, and warped slabs. And you essentially, up the middle here, where you don't have to do it on the bottom, although if you want to do it here, you can. Uh, you just want to follow the at least outer edge of the uh, smooth quartz, and you want to place warped planks with its obviously respective materials, and that will just give you... A nice blue strip down the middle. You don't need to add that. If you want to make it, you can make it red, you can make it yellow, you can make it orange, you can make it green, or you could not have it at all. I think it just adds a little bit to the truck, uh, because it did look kind of bland and boring. <coughs> Sorry, without it. I, I knew it was coming and I couldn't stop it. Uh, get rid of your, I guess, warp slabs for now and get out cyan carpet. And just at the front here, uh, on top of the monster spawner and the block behind it, you can just place cyan carpet. You can clear your inventory, and you need two materials for right now. Pillar quartz block and quartz stairs, and if you want to get out the rest, I'm actually gonna because I can. You only need glow item frames, ochre frog lights, and a block of redstone. And you need, I guess if you're in survival, you need uh, four glow item frames and then two of these either, just because, I don't know, they're weird to get. Ochre frog lights especially. Although you could even use, like, I don't know, glowstone if you wanted, or, um, like, yellow concrete would even work. Anyway, behind this, uh, row of polished deep slate slabs, you want to place a row of pillar quartz blocks. This is where things get annoying, because you want all of the pillar quartz blocks to face front to back. So you're gonna have to place a lot of placeholders to start here. You want to bring that row up by three additional rows. I'm telling you, you're gonna need a lot of placeholders here. And then you want to bring all of the pillar cords back until it reaches the end of the smooth quartz section. You're going to have to kind of go around the stairs and stuff here. Uh, which is fine. And you want to leave the back open. You want to have the top and sides in the back, but you want to leave the, like, middle. It'll end up being a three-block gap left. In it. 
Yeah, man. Look at how I used to make things. Like, th those look so bad. I'll actually, at the end, uh, I'll show them. Not next to each other, but I'll, I'll go over and fly to get a better look at that one. It's more square than this one. This one, I think, is more, like, rounded, which I definitely think is better. And now you want to come to the back, and you have this gap here, and you want to just place court stairs in it, facing back like that. Left and right of that bottom stair on these bottom corners of pillar quartz blocks, you want to place uh, glow item frames with blocks of redstone in them. At the front side on these those two smooth quartz stairs, either side of the monster spawner, you'll also place glow item frames with ochre frog lights in them. Once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your semi truck 18 wheeler complete. I actually don't think it has 18 wheels. It does three, four, five, six. That's 14, which is close enough. Um, here's the uh, old one, by the way. Uh, yeah, the new one is a lot better and smaller. God, that's actually insane, though. I mean, that's probably like two and a half or three years of distance between the two. And to make this one so much better is actually kind of absurd how different they are. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know what you guys think of this one. And if you want to see me more, make more of these car type tutorials, I did do the race cars in the racetrack as well. And, um, yeah, I do want to make, like, ambulances and stuff when I get to some of those, uh, refresh series. Uh, definitely fire trucks. Fire trucks I gotta make better, man. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.